When I was young, someone told me that musicians make the best storytellers. When you shift the focus away from the words of a song and towards the music itself, everything tends to be a little louder. I picked up the guitar at around 11 years old. It didn't really take much at first. I started getting into high school, I started playing punk music a little bit, and that was what really kind of got me into playing. I started getting into a lot more metal and whatnot when I hit university, and I started seeing the versatility of the instrument and really what it could do. I was surrounded by a lot more professional players, people that really took it seriously, and I wanted to take it seriously too. Later on, I started moving towards the acoustic a little bit more, and I saw kind of the things that you can do with it. Um, the percussive aspects of it, uh, harmonically, and melodically as well, and overall just the timbre and the tone of the instrument I found was a lot more appealing. That's what kind of brought me into writing Acrylic Skyline. Everyone has their own interpretation of what is going on in a song in general. When you take away the lyrics and you're left with the melodic content that supports those lyrics, that melodic content is amplified as a result. And that's what really drew me to instrumental music and brought me to dig deeper with the acoustic guitar and really see what I could bring out in it. As a result, led me to writing Acrylic Skyline. I've taken a lot of time to craft this album and really try to work out the perfect sound for it. Acrylic Skyline is a project that I've put a lot of time and effort into in the last few years. Now that I've found the perfect sound for it and I'm ready to share it with the world, I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it. Thank you guys for sticking with me, and I'll see you guys in the Thank you. Thank you.